This show, it literally is the whole package. Hey guys. Hey. I'm Lydia. And I'm me. And we are React Uh oh, 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 oh. Okay, guys, so today we are back with Euphoria, episode number five. Yeah, episode cinco. So last episode was pretty much the best episode so far, the I, carnival episode. I think that's something consistent about this show. Like, every episode, every episode seems to like be a, a slightly better, better like, than the last. So, guys, last episode, all hell was breaking loose all over the place, okay? So we had Cassie and McKay fighting because McKay said they were just... Chilling. And then she took a very, very mature decision. She got high. <laughs> and then we had, of course, the drama with Nate and Maddie. He freaking choked her out. And, and then we had Nate. We had Nate and Jules. <laughs> yeah, Nate and Jules. They had their drama. He revealed to her. And basically, he's blackmailing her. For why? So uh, she don't tell him. We also have the drama between Nate's dad and Jules. Yeah, yeah. They kind of talked like he Woo! went up there and confronted her. her, but kind of apologizing and asking for mercy. Like, that was don't very ruin interesting. Me, man. Don't very ruin interesting me. scene because this dude is huge, you know, and he's hot as hell. Uh, <laughs> that was probably unnecessary, but he's hot nonetheless. Okay, thank you for letting us yes. know for the hundredth time. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> it was a, it was a very interesting scene to see him, you know, so big and hot as he is, to be so vulnerable, you know, and kind yeah, of he was asking scared. for mercy, he basically. Was scared. And, and then, then Jules, Jules and, and Rue. And Rue. Yeah. Drama where Jules kissed her. Yeah, I think they both kissed. But I think, yeah, Jules, 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 yeah, Jules yeah, leaned. Yeah, I get it. Okay, of course Rue's going to lean. When somebody kisses you, you kiss back. It's just a reflex, okay? But Jules is the one who initiated yeah, Jules is yeah. like, oh. so what is that, Jules, huh? What is it? I think they're going to get together. I really don't remember if they do or not. That's the one thing I don't remember because I know the relationship was all over the place. But I don't remember if they were officially together. I actually don't remember. Hmm. So, yeah. Well, I have hope. You think they're going to be together? Yeah. I, like officially, officially fishing girlfriend, yeah. girlfriend? Yeah. I don't know how long it'll last. <laughs> That's a separate question. But will they get together? Most certainly. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Gustavo. no squeaking. No squeaking. Come here. Okay, now we're ready. So please remember, give this video a like if you like our euphoria reactions. And, and it's that if you like him too. I like him in Grey's Anatomy, not necessarily in this show. I'm sure he's hot in Grey's Anatomy too. He's hotter. Okay, it's McSteamy. <laughs> he's McSteamy. <laughs> also, comment down below your thoughts on this episode and any theories that you guys have for the next season. Also, we do have a Patreon. We're up to 10 weeks ahead over there. The link is going to be in the description box, a.k.a. The, the bottom, bottom box, boxito. All right, let's get into it. Maddie knew who she was from a very early age. So this is a Maddie this episode. Maddie intro. Ah, oh, this will be so interesting, man. Go, Maddie. Go, girl. For as long as Maddie could remember, everybody loved her. Okay. Star I gave her confidence. Nice. I love this song. What's your vote? No, I said no. You said no. Dang. You're girl. coming to Hollywood. <laughs> we'll see ya. Because you didn't have to be the prettiest or the tallest or the blondest or the whitest. They jelly. You had to have fucking confidence. The confidence, man. Maddie would never say it out loud, especially not today because everybody's so political. She knew <laughs> her eyeliner better than me. She never really had any desire to have a career or job. Interesting. She quickly realized that there are two kinds of people in the world. The people who sit in the chairs with their feet in the foot bath and the people who kneel in front of the foot bath. Wow. She oh, had no. had a thing for Nate for a while before he finally asked her out. At first, he was a gentleman, like flowers every day kind of gentleman. He was smarter than most guys. Plus, Nate, like, really loved her. Aw, that's kind of cute, but... <laughs> Dang it. Granted, she didn't always tell the truth. You're a virgin. Because the truth truth is that when she was 14 on Ooh. vacation in Panama... God dang, she wasn't a virgin. It was like 40. 
God damn, 40. Which, in retrospect, seems kind of rapey and weird. Yes, it does. Yeah. Yeah. She could tell by looking in Nate's eyes how much it meant to him. Like, fully? <laughs> thing with guys like Nate. <laughs> that looks just like what his dad does. That's kind of weird that he's doing that. I would fucking kill for that coat. And she did the same to Nate. How much do you think it costs? Seriously. Sharon Stone in Casino was like Maddie's spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> but if you analyze it really closely, there were a ton of really good secrets. Interesting. She wanted Nate to feel good about the way he fucked. That is so interesting. Yeah. I got your present. Really? After dinner, it's in the car. The coat. Oh, yeah, the God coat. Damn. That's a nice coat. Yeah. She did worry about the whole monogamy thing, though. Oh no. Like she ever cheated, cheated. Mm. Except for that DJ. Oh, okay. I was about to say, at least she didn't cheat. Hot broker guy with a family who lived on Oak Street. Damn. Dang. Uh. <laughs> They're Dang, in the back. No shame. Plus, Nate could be a real asshole. Yes, he could. Because he was coming to terms with his sexuality. Look at it's like the root of a lot of violence. Dang. Mm. It wasn't the violence that scared her. It was the fact that she knew no matter what he did, she'd still love him. Dang. That is a scary kind of love. The best thing I've ever had. Is she high again? Is fentanyl. I remember that fentanyl. On the planet Earth that compares to fentanyl. Except Jules. Jules? Jules is a close second. would be better jules and i thought jules was under there oh yeah me too i was about to say jules what you doing under there <laughs> dinner's ready okay uh oh are you coming yeah no <laughs> yeah for, yeah for dinner just uh give me a second okay this is why you knock before you go in a teenager's room okay <laughs> so jules slept over last night Oh, she knows. Yeah, so are you two in a relationship? Ooh. Oh, kinda. Oh, yeah, kinda. Look at her, though. She's smiling. It's so cute. We had a really long conversation about everything, and we're just gonna take things really, really slow. Good. Okay, so. Yeah, that's good. Astro. Uh, Rules. That's not slow at all. This is what you call slow. Yo, looks good. How bad does it hurt? <laughs> it hurt like at all. <laughs> it's all good. I've been doing this for years. Boy, you're a <laughs> child. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, she's doing that too. That's cool. Slow down. What's happening? Okay, he's hot. Come on. Yes. Come on. God dang. Come on. Look at those eyes. The white hair. Like, why do I like white hair now? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. Yeah. He's hot. Let's please. He's like, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh. Am I caught? You want to tell me what's going on? Stop talk when you get inside. You know, he's... Look at him. He's like, oh, oh shoot. He's so... <laughs> he looked like he was gonna puke, man. <laughs> I'm stressed too. Look at him. Yes. Oh my god, look at him. Cal, you okay? Yeah. Give me a second. <laughs> Ice cream escape. Was. Never mind, he's not a hat. Is the air conditioner like not working? It's broken. You could always take off your hoodie. My school, we couldn't even wear hoodies or hats. Maddie woke up three hours early, applied more concealer than a burn victim, <laughs> and tried her best to cover up. Good dang. Jeez. From the molly she took at the carnival, got mm. depressed, and therefore hadn't had anything to eat or drink the entire weekend. Dang. dang. Maddie. Oh, that's not good. Oh, Lord. Maddie. Was she dead? Why is everyone like so Boy, dramatic? Boy, you passed out. There is no bruising on my neck. Mm, paramedics saw it. 
Yeah, well, they're lying. Ah, there's no way out of this, Maddie. <laughs> if I suspect that you're being abused, I'm mandated by law to report it. Uh, Dang. Their relationship yeah. is so toxic, man. Now, was she like knocked over a giant pot of chili and like called his mother? <laughs> giant pot of chili. <laughs> Yo, straight up, the chick's crazy. <laughs> you know why Nate and Maddie were fighting? Um, I don't want to talk until I get a lawyer. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> Look, Nate's gay. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, like, Nate's actually gay. That's why Maddie was upset. What? <laughs> so the rumor really is Pratt. <laughs> Mr. Jacobs, would you please come with me? What? Uh oh. She found all that gay porn on his phone. Oh. He told you that. You did? Good. <gasps> At the carnival. Oh, that's what happened. That's what to say. She only told Cassie, but. Oh, Cass she already split the room with high. Yeah. Ooh. Boy, what do you think this is? I have a boyfriend. Uh, say no to this. Yes. You gotta say no to this. I... <laughs> <laughs> Ethan. Damn, girl. What? They did not have a dress code at this school. Hey, did you get my text? Yeah. Really? Just talk to him. It wasn't even a girl. Oh, well, it was a girl, but... Yeah, but it was not a, a girl. Yeah, yeah, not a girl, girl. Yeah. <laughs> did I, like, do something? Oh. I don't know, Ethan, did you? No. No? He didn't. You didn't even ask questions. Yes. Can he not talk to another girl? Like, they were just talking. I said my whole life... Okay, so she's rocking her new... But honestly, who gives way of dressing, you know? Yeah, she is. It's she really looks good. Great. Yeah, it's really good. Cause you see me in a crown. I'm Music gonna that's not gonna be out. out. <laughs> Cause you're gonna, gonna get it. copyright, one copyright. One no. One 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 Ah. You should see me in the crown. You should see me, see me. I'm gonna. Oh, I forgot the words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna let the son of a bitch attack my daughter and get away with it, right? Absolutely. He needs to. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. No, you're not. This is your uncle. No, you're not. God dang. Okay. <laughs> I would like to press charges. <laughs> yeah, you don't have no say in it, yeah, Maddie. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Maddie. So it appears that your son and Miss Prez had a. Look at his face. What? On Saturday night. <laughs> his face. He's like. Wait, what? <laughs> it ain't me. Granada for me. <laughs> um, I would like to talk to the Perez family. How about you talk to your son? Yeah. It'd be best for you to speak to your son before we take him to the station. Hmm. Oh, he's going down to the yeah, station? Yeah, they press charges. You hear that your son hit or may have abused someone, and the first thing is you want to talk to the other family? Yeah, that's kind of like, weird. I know my son didn't do this. Parents don't know their kids. They're teenagers. Let's just put it like that. I mean, Teen I mean, Teenagers are like different people. They really are. I, I guess. Kind, I kind of agree with you. Not all the way, but yeah, I, I get yeah, what you're I saying. I mean, some kids. Yeah. Did you do it? Mm. He's so scary, man. Oh. I was so sure he's gonna tell him, but yeah, I did. Dad. Do yeah. And he believes him. I don't know if he does. What now? What? This is so toxic. This yeah. shouldn't be happening right now. It really shouldn't. This is not good. Oof. Oof. Uh, Dang. The lick. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm loving the purple hair. Okay, one, what was that about? <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about the fact that you fucked Nate's dad? <laughs> no. Swear to God, like, on your life that you will never tell anyone that you fucked Nate's dad. <laughs> serious. Well, you know she's not gonna tell anybody. Even if you decide you hate me one day, like, you can never tell anyone. How would I ever hate you? That's not the point. Because I don't mm. really like you like you. No, why would Nate know? I don't know, you went up to the Chili Booth at the carnival and did... You look like you knew? Why won't she tell her Rue? That, isn't that strange? Like, it seems like this is something that they would share. Yeah. I don't want to have this conversation. You know what would be amazing? If they paid you off with a bunch of money and do a bunch of really cool shit. This isn't a joke. 
Well, then maybe if you explain but, like what's going on here. But she doesn't have to, right? All she has to say is, hey, don't want to talk about it. So we don't talk about it. That's true. But you keep pushing. You keep pushing my bottoms. Do you have a lot of one night stands? Um, define a lot. Damn, little lady. Mm. God dang. That's a lot. <laughs> More than 20. Mm. Bro, why does it matter? It's just a question. Why do you think? You've had one night stands, right? Oh no. How many? No, like, what's your number? Oh. Oh, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> nice. This is cool. One of which I was emotionally coerced into. I'm literally gonna tell the entire school that you suck my dick, so you might as well just suck my dick. Mm. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, he should be a lawyer. Freshman formal by Tim and I tried to teach her how to French kiss. Ooh. Lexi? Did you know? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> Venus. Word. <laughs> Word. What is this? <laughs> you look like you came out. Boy. <laughs> This oh, is so bad. Yeah. This is so embarrassing. Have you ever been in love? Oh yeah, right now. Hard. As we speak. <laughs> God dang, Maddie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn. Ah, uh, that's not cool. Dang, those are some hardcore breezes, though. I grabbed her by the arm to drag her away. I didn't choke her. That's the story that you're sticking with? Yeah, I don't want to get her in any trouble, but she's taking a lot of drugs. Dang. What drugs? I don't want to get her in trouble. She's not going to get in any trouble. Yeah, you're the one in trouble. <laughs> Molly? As in MDMA. Yeah. I would have been like, I guess. Like, how am I supposed to know? <laughs> I that? don't know. It's Molly, boy. This what is what the Molly? Kids, this is what the kids say. Molly. We don't know the technical term. <laughs> Her and I don't have the healthiest relationship. Okay. Okay. My dad's always telling me that she's a distraction. He's right. I love her. You know, I really love her. No matter how crazy she acts, no matter what she does, I love her. I kind of feel like he's been honest right now, but... I think that they think that they're in love with each other, but this is not love. This is too toxic. Like, I get he cares for her, but he has an issue that needs to be addressed before yeah. he could just be in love. East Highland Dang. football team has a zero-tolerance policy. I'm a survivor of abuse. God dang, they did all this. Jeez. 30 reasons why school just, they just moved on after Hannah. What you're enduring is not normal. Not okay. It's not okay and it's not love. And what happens in a month, six months, a year, when she moves away and goes to college? When she tells you she just wants to be friends. Ooh. You mean if? Not real. I mean, when. Mmm. Dang. Nothing in high school lasts forever. Jeez. What the fuck are we talking for? Uh, I love this soundtrack, man. Know, right. Yeah, every time I collected a chip, whether it be 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, I was lying. <laughs> oh. But I met someone. This makes me so happy. She's helped. Me too. Look at her. Ali just scared the shit out of me because <laughs> he told me that it wasn't gonna last. Maybe you're right. But I really, really, really hope you're wrong. Oh. Cause uh I've been clean for 13 days. <laughs> So good. Imagine her hat oh. off for you, Ru. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that's why I wanted to come here and. That's so cool. It's so cool that she's doing this. It is. Aww. Uh, thank you. You're very welcome. That was good. You're very welcome. Yes, yes. That was amazing. Wow. Welcome back, boy. Welcome back. Are you two like 
something. Yeah, everybody wants to know. We all want to know. He's such a cool dad. We could all just do like a family thing together, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go to dinner with you when you're home. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Why? Because you're embarrassed of me? <laughs> <laughs> or is it because you're a thing? Ah! Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Oh, he knows about her addiction and everything. That's, That's so cool. cool. That's nice. That's really nice. That's really He's good. He's a good dad. And what if Rue's mom and her dad get together? Hmm? Hmm? To support her parents, right? That'd be kind of weird, right? Because their kids would be technically step siblings. It happens and it's not weird. They're not blood related. <sighs> Oh, Look at just... Rue, she's coming out clean, like, Rue. asking for forgiveness. Oh my gosh. This makes me so happy. But it also makes me, not sad, but I just want this to last. And I feel like it's not going to last. Mm -hmm. You made me feel like you weren't proud to be my boyfriend. Cass. Who's that? Cass. Cass. Don't say like Cass when you the one who just told him. We chilling. I'm not getting over that, McKay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Uh oh. You gotta be sorry about. For. <laughs> Tell him. Yeah. Tell him. Look, if you want to hook up, we can hook up. Mm. God dang. She's like, I just want to get to the. I just want to skip all this. <laughs> Maddie wasn't doing well. Damn, look at her. She's a mess. Not in front of the cat. You live in the same house and you don't even say one word to each other. That's the difference between me and you. Jeez. Mm. Well, can you blow them off, please? I really need you right now. I can't talk now. Dang, cat. Dang. All because you're with this wannabe rock star? Oh. God dang. I can smell it through the screen. Oh, I can hear it. Ah. Not when he's been working all day, he hasn't showered. Uh, uh. Oh. Uh, it's comes, right? It was just so good, like. <laughs> ah. That was really good. <laughs> I don't know what you did to me. <laughs> Seriously, that was like one of the best blowjobs I've ever had. Nice. Is that a compliment that the girls uh, appreciate? I guess. Look at her, she's she like, yeah. She blew off Cat for that? For two seconds? For the two second wannabe musician? Yep, she literally blew it. Mm. See what I did there? That you see what good. I did there? That was so good. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, they're hanging out again. This is, Aww. this is making me feel so good. But you know, when it all comes up, it all gotta come down. <laughs> this thing's really good. Yeah. It's because of you, you know. Aww. Oh, she doesn't want the pressure on her, right? Look at her. Yeah, I see um, it. I'm gonna... The eyes said everything. Pull back now. She doesn't want like, the oh, pressure. Oh, abort mission, abort. Houston, we have a problem. Too much responsibility. It's too much. Too much responsibility and pressure for a kid. Where's she going? I think she passed the bathroom. Whatever. You don't care. Back to his old ways. God. You're actually hot. Agreed. <laughs> yes, indeed, sir. You from around here? I'm from planet Venus, baby. <laughs> nice. A good answer. <laughs> you want a popper? No. Oh. What's a popper? I don't know the slang that these kids are using these days. I'm so sorry. Okay, boomer. I don't think they're kids. I don't know what slang this is. I just is. want to talk for a little bit. He just wants to talk. Dang. What? I just had a really long week. Oh my God, Jesus. Kids? Yeah. And not mine, just kids in general. <laughs> Do you think this stuff affects them? 
I really wish we could see more of the mom because this is so telling. Just that he he had to go to a hookup app just so that he could find someone to talk to. Yeah. Like at first, I was under the impression that he was just scratching an itch, you know, a sexual itch. Yeah. But he can't even talk to his wife. Like I wish we'd see more of her and their relationship. Yeah. Yeah. True. Is it cool if I just go with you? Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I thought she was gonna say no. Yeah. Me too. You could tell she's starting to pull away. Oh, yeah. Mm. So reckless, man. Do people die in this show? Probably. Don't, don't say it. I'm trying to think. Did anybody die? I don't remember. That'd be interesting because if, if you had to bet, you have to be either Nate or Maddie, probably. I think. Or I don't Maddie. know. Maddie. Yeah, because they're so unhealthy with each other that they'll just go do something crazy. Ooh. He saw the car. He saw the car. He saw the car. He's like, Dad, I know you was here. Dang. Wow. So you're telling After me that this... that's not love. Uh-oh. Dang. Look at her. I think she just not realized how... Yeah, it's all on you, boy. You get in a fight, <sighs> she gonna do drugs. You screw up. She's gonna drugs. do drugs and it's gonna be your fault. Well, not really, but essentially. Uh, Nate and Maddie. I mean, how many times can we say toxic in one episode? Like, just toxic. That's the only word I can describe. Sadly, I guess for both of their sakes, they seem to be extremely attached to each other yeah. in a very unhealthy way. Some might even call it love. I don't know. You tell me. Are things what they seem to be sometimes? Do you know what? They are sometimes what they seem to be. Like, Nate is that. He seems to be hot. Is he actually hot? I think it is. You know, so they might be loving each other too. Because that's what it seems to be happening here. In a way, you know, unless your definition of love, it's a bit different. Which it might be. <laughs> that's so weird. I don't know why I just said all of that. I but don't know either. <laughs> So yeah, that was really, really unhealthy. And if I had to bet, I don't know if someone will die, but if I had to bet, if I had to put money, it would probably be die. one of those two. Probably even Maddie. Uh, yeah, um, Kat. Some... She blew someone away. <laughs> <laughs> See what you did there. See what you did there. Yeah. Yeah, she did some yeah. job. With Kat, for me, it feels like she wants power. Not that she wants just power over men, but she finally liked someone and it was Ethan. And then she thought that he kind of rejected her. She was like, you know what? I gotta, I need to regain my confidence, my strength. And now she's going down. Uh, what else? Um, uh, Jules, 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 Jules. Yeah. What's going to happen? Coming. Come on. Been saying this from day one. God Rue dang. Has, is so freaking dependent on Jules. And it's even more in this episode. Like... I hope she that said, Wakanda like, we, helps her, when man. When we graduate, like, I'm, wherever she goes, I'm going to just go with her. She goes to New York, I'm going to go. Like, we're going to live together. That's not how it works, Boy. Really. That's not how it works. I mean, that could very well happen. It happens, but it, how mean, likely is it in this situation is... I don't think it's that unlikely, but both of you need to want it, right? And I don't think Jules is there, you know? I feel yeah. like if Jules goes to New York and, you know, start having her own life, if she feels bad and says, you know what, Rue, just come along, I feel like Jules will see Rue more as a pet that she needs to bring over. Mm -hmm. And not as a real partner or yeah. friend. And that's bad. So you both need to want it. Yeah. And I'm afraid that so far only Rue is in it. Yeah. And not Jules all the way. Although they did that the two thing yeah. by the <laughs> best character Astro. In the show. Yes. Astro. So there was it, no Fez in this episode. No, there wasn't. But at least we got a few a, a scene with Astro. That's all that matters. Dead. We got Astro. He's so cool, right? Right? I want to know, like, the age? actor. Yeah, he's I so know good. The actor. He's good. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been doing this for years. <laughs> Oh, fun fact. The guy who plays Fez, the, guy, the girl who plays Jules, this is their first time acting. Like, this is literally their first acting gig. 
That is not bad. Right? That is not bad. But I'm going to be honest, I will give more credit to the script. It's so good. It's so good so far. But yeah, of course, you cannot have just good script and not the talent in front of the camera, yeah, right? Of this show it literally is the whole package. The costumes, the makeup, the lighting, the, the, the editing, the literally the music choices. Literally, there's no area on this TV show where it's lacking. That's why I keep telling you it feels like art. Like It, feels it, like it does feel like somebody art. poured their heart and soul into this on every single aspect. Feels, and the color grading that they've done oh, yeah, here is gorgeous. amazing. It's so amazing. Yeah. I envy these people for the talent they have yeah. that I wish I had. Yeah. But maybe one day. In the meantime, we still need to beg for your support and patron. So please <laughs> help us get actual chairs and not our dining room table yeah. chairs. Please, this is not appropriate. Please. Consider subscribing to our patron. The link is going to be in the description box, aka the bottom boxito. All right, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Until next time, boys. Bye.